We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. And we are marking up H-U-D-I stock. We are on a monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to right hand side is a bullish green candle. We do have price action, higher highs of structure. Price action, lower lows. Midpoint. Current price is sitting at 57.50. as a huge bullish green candle. It did lose a lot of momentum. So if this market is, work, is gonna work its way up further, we are looking for price action to work above, head up to the second last candle wick. And we look for that breakout for that mark to work its way up further. Before market makes it there, market can head to the midpoint of that area, right below price, nearing the numbers of 64.29. If market decides to pull back, market can pull back up to that midpoint of the middle of that second to last price action candle, which would be near the numbers of 43.22. So monthly time frame price action bullish green candle long walk, long wick up to the top so it, what happened was that the market ended up just tagging something at the high so if we did have an overall high high up here the market just came from the bottom tagged a high and then worked its way back down so it lost a lot of momentum second last candle did the same well second last candle is more like a doji with a long wick up to the top so it retested that midpoint of nearing that uh, midpoint of the price action candle. So when price action did push out, it did create a pra uh, pattern at that midpoint, which would be the market broke, came back to retest. So there's a first, second, third, fourth retest with the second last candle, and then price action pushed up. So price is coming from a double bottom and a retest. So as that, as we have that full break of the price action candle, we are looking for that candle to retest or identify some type of retest in that area to see if that market's gonna push up. If not, that market can't push down because it identified that we lost a lot of momentum towards that wick to the top side. Headed down to the weekly time frame. Okay, so price action, when a weekly time frame, Huge bullish green candle, tag push up to the top. So market came up and tagged that area. Lost a lot of min, lost a lot of momentum that came came down. So that market could be reversing or identifying some type of retest. Could be pushing up further. Could be working its way down. So what's happening in that area? Uh, third to last candle after we received that break. Second last candle came back to retest price action. Pushed and broke all the way out. Tagged some high. Lost momentum and then dropped back down. So. We do have, it's a chance, there's a 50-50 chance that market can still work its way up or work its way down or come back to tag the, near this midpoint for that retest. Price action body is currently above the previous bodies. Price action wick is above the previous wick, so that can be working that market up. But we do know that price action candle do have a long wick up to that top that lost some lot of momentum that could be identifying some type of reversal in the market. Headed down to the daily time frame. So we have price action daily time frames to doji. So that's the retest. Second last candle is the push. So what's happening is that that market has pushed and broke out for the second time, came back to retest. And now we have to see if that market's gonna push up or push down. So it's all about what's happening above this price action candle or below this price action candle. Anything within this price action candle is gonna be consolidation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tag the bottom of that price action candle wick 
and we're going to tag the top of that price action candle wick. And we're going to put a midpoint. So this is, helps us out to dissect the market to see what's really going on in the market, even though we do know price action at that low. But as it's being a doji, it could be identifying a break and retest because what's happening is that this price action, second last candle, mainly price action is retesting the previous side. So if we think about putting a SR line here, we have the market broke, came back to retest, second last candle broke, price action came back to retest the previous side. If it's respected at the support, market's work is way up. Now it can respect with the price action body towards the previous side or the price action wick towards that bottom of that um, support line and it's still pushed back up. We're going to change this color to create an SR line from the previous side so we can see that support if it's going to respect it and work its way up as we walk down the time frame or is it going to reverse. Headed down to daily time frame. Price action daily time frame, same candle, bullish green. So it's still identifying a break. The retest is still respecting that previous side with the bullish green candle. So we're going to see if that market is going to reverse unless it starts breaking that area. Headed down to the three hour time frame. Same as well, same candle, same area. Two hour time, same, two hour time frame, same candle, same area. Uh, there's also some type of pattern that's trying to form in that area. So we do have a break. A retest the market pushed up came back to retest if you respect markets creating that incline w double bottom the second third fourth last candle will be the first leg coming down second leg third leg and we'll see that market push and break out of that area headed down to the one so now on a one hour time frame price action is a retest so it is respecting that previous side where we put that sr line of that support. So if it's respected, we'll see if it's going to follow up with the bullish green candle. That price action, it hasn't closed out yet, but it has a long wick down towards that bottom. So it's creating some type of support that can, that can be reversed in the market. But overall, you're still waiting for the next following candle to break out this price action to the top side or to the bottom side. Headed down to the one. Always identifying is it did break the bottom. It came back to retest, but it's heading back to is on the resistant or is on the support side of the SR line, which is the top side. And we're going to see if it's going to still follow up with some momentum. So we identify as a break and retest the market, keep on pushing, but no matter what, you are still looking for a price to on a 45, on a 40 minute time, 45 minute time frame to engulf the second last candle to the top side or work his way to the bottom side. Cause it could just be a break retest that, um, previous SR line and it work its way down further. That's why we look for an engulfment to the second last candle, 30 minute time frame. You look for the engulfment to the second last candle to the top side of downside price action body is not above the previous body price action price action wick is not above the previous wick. So it's not, it didn't make it there yet. Headed down to the 15 minute time frame. We have a bullish green candle. All this candle do need to do is grow a little more to engulf that third to last candle. And then it's taking out the next area, which will be the fourth to last candle body and wick to work that market up. And five minute time frame, price second, third, lost a lot of momentum. Small candle got small, but also kind of side by side. Three pushes to that top. So we're gonna see if that market is gonna push up with this price action candle. Second last candle is a retest, third to last candle is a push. So market push, retest, we're going to see that price action is going to break out that area. Headed down to a three minute time frame. Now market's getting very choppy and I wouldn't go down further than maybe the five minute time frame. Three minutes is just consolidation, very choppy. Headed down to the one minute, same as well, very choppy in the market. So the five minute time frame, much clearer. Okay guys, H-U-D-I star.